much time do you spend, if any at all, right now on the Big 12? Uh, as you do still have a year to go, as everyone has mentioned, the questions we've asked you, but how much time do you spend on that, if at all? Well, I mean, we have to embrace it because that is part of the deal. We are going into the conference. We're excited about it. Um, but I have to focus on the task at hand, which is this season. Mm-hmm. Um, we we are playing Baylor. They're coming to Provo. We did lose to them last year, so we're looking to try to have an improvement from the, our showing. And I thought it was, uh, you know, competitive game up until the end. I think they won by a couple scores, but um, we should be um, motivated by that game and and competing against you know Grimey and Mateos again. And, and uh, but I think we've learned quite a bit from that. But I want our guys to embrace the opportunities that are going to the Big Twelve. But I also want them to respect the fact that there's a lot of young men on our team that are going to their senior year going to their junior year that they're going to be leaving after this year. And uh, the respect means that we show them the love and appreciation for them by what we accomplished this year. But we're also in a time where we know what we're going in tomorrow, which is next year. Um, I can tell you one thing, my bracket completely changed because there's a lot of Big 12 pride here <laughs> with, with what we're trying to get done. So we're rooting for them. And so, you know, my final four might've had a way more big 12 representation <laughs> than I would normally have, you know? And so I, I have to say that I did pick the, the, the champion, but I did have, I had a lot of, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it. Uh, you look at the big 12 and Baylor won that last year, you got Kansas this year and, and you had, I mean, that's a monster division when it comes to, to athletics altogether, especially basketball. But I know that there's a lot of fans that were excited and playing and, and and I, I've felt it from Cougar Nation that they're they're really excited to be part of this uh, this conference, and and you can see it in the way that they kind of cheer for the Big Twelve conference to to have uh, a lot of um, you know a lot of a lot of success, and, and even if if their team's not in in the mix. Do you guys go anywhere on the road where you don't expect to at least have? Uh, enough fans to where you notice because there there are fan bases that can't get all the places that your fans can i mean just the just from the game here uh, i was overwhelmed driving in and seeing just as many byu people as as we're here in waco last year yeah i, I think it's always comforting knowing that our fans are going to show up and it, it could be the nosebleeds way at the top of the, of the area they're going to be there i mean even to give you some idea of where our fans and how awesome they are uh we played against boise where fans their fans were not allowed in the arena in the stadium and yet when we're driving from our hotel to the game we had thousands of fans on the side of the streets cheering us on just on the drive so we have a passionate fan base they've always been big time I'm looking forward to trying to make their dreams and their hopes and their expectations come true. And that's my job. But I am a fan as well. And it's just really, really happy. I'm really happy to be a part and honored to be a part of Cougar Nation. And um, our respect and appreciation, gratitude for a fan base that shows us appreciation, even when they can't, even when they can't enter the arena, they're just there to to do their part. And um, I think this this move of us getting to the Big 12 is a huge compliment to our fan base more than anything. Coach, 